Agua, an orphaned baby manatee, is flying in from Florida for a new chance at life at the Columbus Zoo. Straight in, uh, a little bit. There you go. Agua's mom was hit by a boat and she unfortunately didn't make it. It's incredibly stressful for a calf to be without her mom. Manatee babies usually stay with mom for two years to nurse and learn migration patterns. So without mom, really their, their only hope for survival is us. So we're going to assess her health and we will rehab her. Once Agua is strong enough to survive on her own, we will release her back to Florida. You good back there? I'm ready, yep. Okay. Let's get this girl to the zoo. Agua will be introduced to her new home and manatee family at the zoo later today. But before baby Agua arrives and is placed in the zoo's temporary holding tank. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's coming. The Columbus Zoo team needs to use the space to collect urine from resident surrogate mom, Stubby. Stubby is one of my all-time favorite animals. I learned about manatees kind of through her, watching her raise eight orphans now that I've been around with her. She's one of the best moms I've ever met. We got four animals here that she's been raising for us for the last couple of seasons, which is something that is extremely rare in the manatee world. Stubby will hopefully become a foster mother to baby Agua. But first, Stubby needs to give up a urine sample in the name of Manatee Research, and then she needs to clear the holding tank area, making way for Agua. And here she comes. She's gonna swim up to Target, which is Kevin's fist. She was actually rescued in the wild in 1995, suffering from a severe boat strike. To see an animal's will to come back from some of the things she's had to come back with, it just staggers me. Getting a large, round marine mammal like Stubby to pee in a small little cup, that has its challenges. We're gonna ask her to roll over and then we gotta kinda lift her up a little bit and then we do what we call CPR on her bladder a little bit till she pees and then we got a clean sample. Oh, Bridge gets a treat. All right, Kevin, what do I go? Two fists above? One fist above. One fist above, all right. Stubby's urine sample will help in the global research on female manatees and their reproductive cycles. Well, the reason we do urine collection with Stubby is because not a lot is known from manatees in the wild and the cycles the females go through. It's really difficult to collect that data in wild manatees, so we're very lucky that our Stubby is able to get data to do research on. So we're sending that information down to Florida for doctors down there to learn a little more about manatees. Hey, you know, the longer she holds out, the more biscuits she gets. Stubby gets biscuits as positive reinforcement to keep her in position until the team can get their urine sample. She knows, I think, what we're looking for, and they think she's holding on to it to get more biscuits. All right, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna keep doing this till you pee. So you might as well just pee. The team is up against the clock to get the urine sample and then move Stubby out of the temporary holding tank before baby Agua arrives. 